Hi, my name is Willan Ziada, and I'm a New York City-based director and creator of theater, television, and film. And I'm also a proud Phoenix Global Artist Ambassador. Today, I am so excited to be speaking with Dr. Professor Ken Chang. Dr. Chang was the principal at the Music College of Singapore, an executive director of the Singapore National Chinese Orchestra, a music professor at China's Shenzhen University, and currently serves on the board of advisors of the Musicians and Artists Association in Asia. Here is my talk with the great professor, Dr. Ken Chang. Well, hello, Professor Ken, Dr. Ken, but you said I can just call you Ken, right? Yes, hi, Will. So good to see you. Yeah, nice to see you here. Now, you are coming from China, 12 hours apart. It's uh, nighttime there, morning here. Um, you've yes. had such a very successful career, my friend. You were the principal of the Music College of Singapore, the executive director of the Singapore National Chinese Orchestra, music professor at the China Zhenzhen University, and now you serve as an advisor on the Musicians and Artists Association board. Um, you've done it all. I want to know, Dr. Ken, when did yes. music first become part of your life? Well, I think maybe perhaps uh, uh, since I first born, I, uh, my mom always uh, let me listen to the uh, folk songs because oh, wow. she liked folk songs. So, yeah, so I actually grew up with, with all the Chinese folk songs and uh, this Chinese opera stuff, yeah. Wow, that's amazing. And when was it for you that you realized you wanted to have a professional life within the music world? I think when I was in the secondary school, yeah. I started I off um, pursuing uh, these directions and eventually uh, I just uh, do it step by step, yeah. Wow, that's amazing. And when you were principal at the Music College of Singapore, did you have any moments during your time there that, uh, that stand out for you? Yes, yes, yes. I think I enjoy working with my students. Uh, is very pleased to see the students uh, advancing their career. And in fact, I just heard that some of my students, I have two students now, the associate professors in the other university, they're very pleased. And there are a couple of PhD uh, uh, students as well. Well, that must, you know, I have to say, Dr. Ken, that for me, um, when I was singing, um, when my brother Anthony and I headlined Carnegie Hall, in the front row were all of our teachers. Yes. It was our music teachers from oh. elementary school, middle school, and high school. And for me, my teachers are my heroes. And my teachers, oh, when I was a singer, I but, when I, but when I'm a director now too, my teachers are my heroes. And um, you must feel so much pride, and I can sense that from you, from, to see your students <laughs> succeed. I, I have read your biography. You have uh, uh, actually you have a very excellent career uh, throughout. <laughs> yeah, uh, since young uh, with your brother Anthony, right? Mm. Yes, yes. You know, and I don't say that all life. Yes, right? and we yes performing my whole life, but I always wanted to become a director, kind of like in your way. You know, I love doing the thing, but I get so much more joy out of cultivating an inspiring talent. And, you know, I can relate to you in that way, but, you know, yeah, I just yeah, have to yeah. say from me to you, how much- Maybe we are both the same species. <laughs> we, we, you're, I mean, Dr. Ken, I think you're my real twin. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> but, you know, teachers really do hold special places in artists' heart because I was very fortunate growing up, Dr. Ken, to have very supportive parents, but a lot of my friends who were joining the Phoenix app didn't have that support, but they had the support of their teachers. Oh, I see. Yeah. Uh, how's life in New York now? New York is doing well, you know. I'm keen in the, uh, know about the musical circle there, especially the musical theater, music oh, theater. I see. 
Yeah. Yes, Doc, um, Mayor de Blasio just came out and said that he was going to be starting using Broadway theaters as vaccination sites for theater workers. He wants Broadway to return in the fall. So, you know, we'll see. But I will say, Dr. Ken, that um, for me as a director, one of the things I'm most excited about in terms of joining Phoenix is finding collaborators in the East because um, I, I, I think that a lot of artists have realized that Broadway isn't necessarily just in New York, that Broadway, yes, is. Broadway is everywhere. And so yes. I'm excited, Dr. Ken, in joining Phoenix to find collaborators, producers, and further creative collaborators to do the shows I want to do and direct in the East. Yes, perhaps we can cooperate in future. Uh, here in China, about the musical uh, theater works, uh, government and the uh, uh, local publics, they are very keen in, in learning, uh, as well as uh, I can see a lot of the new uh, works, uh, new performance on theater nowadays. Uh, because uh, uh, the uh, audience of musical, is something that to do with the cultural index. So, you know, an international city, you have, must have a certain amount of audienceships in, in viewing a musical. I think this is uh, incredible, uh, exciting. I think so too, Dr. Ken. You know, I've had a lot of friends in world international tours of musicals come to China to Japan, to Singapore, yeah. to Korea. And they, they, my friends have told me that yeah. the, 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 the Eastern audiences treat them like rock stars. Yes, 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 yeah. That the uh, Eastern, the, the future, you can have works with the Chinese musicians in corporate uh, works together. I mean, uh, in terms of productions, uh, create a new, new, new works. I would. Can, and in Broadway or off Broadway. Well, Dr. Ken, I'll only come if you come out of retirement and join my creative team. How about that? <laughs> Good, I will. <laughs> now, Dr. Yeah. Ken, I could talk to you forever, but I wanted to ask before we go, um, what are you most excited about in terms of the prospects of Phoenix, but also Phoenix for people like your students? Oh, Phoenix is, is uh, I think, is a gift from the heaven, you know. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, because, yeah, yeah. Because this not only brings the uh, world uh, together, especially I also teach world music in the university. I realize how important uh, for Chinese music to go international. Um, I think the traditional Chinese music uh, might not that might not easy, but for world music style of Chinese music, I think that should be a wide uh, uh, this uh, audience if we get I, it right. I agree with you, Dr. Ken, only because you know I'm I'm a, I'm a, I'm getting more familiar with Chinese music, and there's a transcendent quality to Chinese music that even though I may not understand Chinese, there's something visceral, you get this as music, it's a universal language and great yes, music yes. is universal. And so I'm so excited about the prospect of collaborating with Chinese composers and musicians to not only do something in the East, but then to bring it to the West. Yes, yes, both way, East and West, West to East. Exactly. East well, Dr. Yes. Ken, thank you so much for your time. And again, like I said, when I'm coming to China to do my Broadway show, you're coming with me, okay? Sir, sure, sure, I'll go with you. <laughs> I will be your interpreter. <laughs> Have a great day. Thank you so much. You too. Take care, Will. Take care. Bye. Thank you very much. In the digital age, artists and bands struggle to make a living. In fact, only a small number of artists can live off their craft. For the 98% of artists that don't have the luxury of being signed to a label, it's tough. But artists deserve to live off their art. Wherever you are around the world, appreciation of music does not change. Phoenix brings bands and their fans together.
whilst allowing bands to properly monetize their passion. The Phoenix app will directly connect bands and fans with no need for middlemen. We're utilizing the blockchain to give the power back to the artists once and for all. Join Phoenix, join the change.